everybody. It's PJ and the puppies. They're doing so well. They're getting so big. And everybody's growing. You finish all your food? I can get you more. I spent two hours up here yesterday. Not yesterday. I can't even. I can't even count. This morning, mopping floors and cleaning walls and all of that stuff. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at you all picking your head up. Aren't you, Joey? Want some pudding? I have decided not to feed Lacey all the time. That I'm yeah, I cleaned that. It's not it's dirty. Or it's clean. There's no food in there. You want some pudding? I can get you some pudding. If I can do this one handed. Can I do it one handed? Alright. You sit. Sit. Stay. No. Sit. Stay. There you go. So I decided to give her more of a scarcity mentality so she's not getting it all at once like she did because she was just playing and dumping it <laughs> hi babies so um i mentioned yesterday that i was gonna watch rachel and if she didn't gain enough weight last night i was gonna supplement her with some goat milk but she did and so nobody's gotten any goat milk um according to the the scale, Phoebe hardly gained anything, which is a little bizarre, but I really don't worry too much about one weight because, you know, we're not the best at taking it the same time every day. We're not the best at taking it before or after meals um, every day, and so there's there's a lot of variation, so I don't worry about, about one reading. Um, I just worry that they're, I'm not worry, I just make sure that they're gaining, um, which they are, they're all doing so well. They're doing so well, aren't you, Chandler? Okay, so the color's very interesting and very cute and sound like they make a um, great mix. Although I love both my Pyrenees, I wouldn't get another. And that's why I wanted to introduce the Bernese into it, because I love my peers, but the Wander gets really old. And so adding in the Bernese is, um, with everybody I've talked to that had them, makes them not Wander. So that's like the best of both worlds. So. Who's going somewhere? You ate all that. Do you want some more? Doesn't my floor look nice and clean? <laughs> I can get you more if you're going to finish all that. Where are you going? Huh, Joey? You and Monica dancing? Oh, snuggle up right there. Those are happy puppies. Lacey was so hot yesterday. She was panting really badly, so we brought up a fan for her, but we went ahead and put the air conditioning on. Um, I don't think so, miss. If you want more, I will get you more. Come here. Sit back down. Sit. I've got to get it first, Goofy. Lacey, sit. Sit down. Sit. Stay. Stay. No, you're not staying. Sit down. I know you're being impatient. There you go. Ah, we're about to drip. Not on my floor. Whoosh.
easy in that. So I'll show you the weight gain while I'm up before I go back down. So um, you want them, there's, there's, there's varying recommendations, but minimum 5% growth a day. So Phoebe had a weird number. You can see she went like 120 um, grams and then 20. So that was weird. So like one of those is probably off on the scale. So like, I don't, you know, I don't worry. I'm not worried about Phoebe not getting enough because she's growing um, tremendously. You know, the same thing with Rachel. So Rachel's had that little one, which is about um, 39 grams. So I was like, okay, that's a little lower than normal. And then she went up almost a full 80. So, you know, everybody's, everybody's going real well. Monica did over a hundred. Joey did almost a hundred. So I'm really not worried about any of them. Um, like I said, that was just kind of a strange weight gain for for Phoebe of 20 grams because she's our chunky monkey. All right, you miss Phoebe. Whoa. Lisa, did you really eat all of that too? I keep getting up and down and up and down. I may have to get her more. It looks like she's finished all of that. Um, you also, you have to also pay attention to how the animals are behaving. You know, these guys are sleeping well and not crying. So like if Phoebe were starving, she would not be sleeping so happily. So yes, doing the, the scale and the weighing helps. And it's something that definitely gives you an indication of if there's a problem. But if you have happy puppies that are active and moving and not crying, um, then then that's you know a sign that that's just a strange sit down sit good girl wait okay there you go <laughs> okay <laughs> good girl <laughs> you're such a good mama yes you are so she's still thinner than i would like you still got way too many ribs there, but she's got hugely growing puppies, so I'm not worrying about it too much because she's eating well and drinking well, and she loves her pudding. Um, for those of you who don't know, her pudding is literally vanilla pudding, but it's the cooked pudding. You don't ever use instant because the instant can cause diarrhea for the puppies. Um, and then extra eggs. Um, and goat milk and sometimes extra sugar. We, we haven't been putting extra sugar in. We do at the beginning more than we do, more than we do now. So it just helps her with her calcium and energy and it's a little treat. It's a little treat. Right, Monica? Right, Miss Monica? So they are, um, we'll start keeping our eyes, <laughs> Our eyes on their eyes. Uh, we'll start looking for our eyes to open. Usually the average is 14 days, but sometimes you get one or two ahead of time that will will start to open their eyes ahead of time. So these are our very happy, happy, well-growing puppies. Oh my goodness! Does she ever eat her dog food? Yeah, she sometimes eats it, but she really doesn't like it. We have tried, I'm not kidding you, like every brand of dog food out there, except for the crap. Someone said that their vet once told them to feed them, be like the kibbles, um, like the, the junk food. And, and we have like any decent dog food we have tried with her and she's not crazy about it. So they get supplemented um, with eggs and meat um, all the time. So that's mostly what she eats, but. She is going to town on this pudding right now. I got more. You can have more. Oh, you know what else is in here? I keep forgetting to tell you. It's, um, this is actually sweet potatoes and not pumpkin. Ah, sit. No, you have to actually sit. If I'd known you were going to eat that much, I would have just given you that thing. Um. What was I saying? Um, usually we put pumpkin in to make sure she doesn't have any trouble with diarrhea. Not just her, but any dog. But uh, we're out of pumpkin, so we're using sweet potatoes from our garden. I mopped the floor. I gotta keep it a little clean for at least a day. For at least a day.
come back at her. Up and down and up and down. Who's gonna come on my lap? Come here, Chandler. Oh, you big boy. Who's oh, a big boy? Don't pee on me. They've started peeing on their own, so I've gotten peed on multiple times. But don't pee on me, okay? They're all doing super, super well, aren't you? So 13.50 roughly, a little over that, like 13.62 I think exactly is three pounds. So, uh, I can't see that far. Who's, who's squeaking? So they're starting. They're starting to um, instead of just squirm on their bellies, they're starting to lift up on their uh, on their feet a little bit. This one is looking my armpit. I don't know if you can see that. Not my armpit, but my arm. Are you licking? Does that taste good? Our peers, like if you go out and compare the dogs, the peers are always skinny. We always have trouble keeping weight on them and like Becca is a chunky thing. Now are you full? Was that good? I have more meat for you. Do you want more meat? Oh, who's the puppy? Who's the puppy? No, don't screw out of my arms. Okay, wait, wait, I don't want to drop, I don't want to drop your puppy. Okay, squirmy. Oh, I got Rachel on the head. I got Rachel on the head. Can you say hi to everybody? I got pudding on your face. Me, I'm not wiping it off for you. You can look that off yourself. Marsha says she's doing that because she didn't get her food all at one time. Um, no, Marsha, I don't give her, her her pudding all at one time all the time, so. Um, that was an unusually high amount for her to do. Normally she'll, when I, I do that all the time and she doesn't, she does not eat that much all at once. So that was. Hi, Graydon. I cleaned your room for you. You smell it? Yeah, I do. Smell how clean it is? Look at your bathroom. Oh, look at your bathroom. No, Courtney, 1,362 grams is three pounds. We weigh the puppies in grams. And so 1,362 grams is three pounds is what I said. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You put another coat on? Yep, this is number two on the outside. The inside is done. I'm thinking just two is going to be enough on the outside because they're not going to be All right. Graydon is polyurethaning the puppies. <laughs> Who smells mommy? You better not tease them. You got them all worked. Please, you got them all worked up. You better lie down and feed them now. Look at them. They're like, I smell mom. I smell mom. Lacey. Um, so Graydon is polyurethaning their weaning box. Because these guys aren't gonna aren't gonna be in, in here much longer. I'm rigging that one up too. I'm gonna feed him in here. <laughs> You've got them all worked up. You better lie down. Just look at them. They're like, Mom's here. Lacey, don't be tease. Don't be a tease. I'm cleaning up the nest box. That's good. That's good. Look at that one, Joey, up on his feet. So you see how they're starting to get their feet under them? Place. You're not going out. You just woke them all up. They were sleeping nicely. Come on. Now you're going to make me help. Lie down. Sit. Come on. You're not going to be mean to them like that. Sit down. 
she's like, no, I don't want to sit down. Please sit. Oh my gosh, you're stubborn thing. You all showed everybody how well you sat just a minute ago. Look at what you did to those puppies. You woke them all up. There you go. Now lie down. Down. Come on. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay. Stay there. Don't move. Okay. Who do I want first? I want you first. <sighs> Which side, Lise? This side. lie down so they can get in there. Nobody's eyes were open this morning, Jeannie. Um, they look like it. They fake it. They fake you out a lot, but uh, I hadn't checked this afternoon. But when I was out here this morning, I was checking on all of them, and none of the eyes were open yet. Phoebe, are you going to be a problem again? Why much do you guys pee on the floor that I just mopped? Because hmm? hmm? you can. You want to lay down better for them? She's like, no, I don't. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lacey, you're being stubborn. <laughs> you're being so stubborn. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. So anyway, I started to say before, Graydon is uh, polyurethaning the weaning box. So as soon as that is done, um, they'll be, they'll be, I'll have that in there. Are you having trouble, Phoebes? You got nothing, baby girl. Lacey, give me this leg. There we go. There we go. We got the leg out of the way, Phoebe. Now go find one. Come back here. Okay, she's got one on the bottom now. Okay. Beverly says, how long do they nurse for? Um, a lot of that will depend on the dog and how long they let them and whatnot. It typically, they start to wean around four weeks, but there's there's a bunch of variation with that. You know, if mom gets mastitis, is mom, you know, how big of a litter? You know, when they get their teeth, it starts to become painful for mom, so she doesn't do it as much. Um, we start introducing more solid food around three um, weeks, so probably about next week we'll start introducing food to them, and you'll see them. They'll be just, like, covered in food it's ridiculous they look ridiculous um so you're a good mama you 
Yes, you are. Chandler's having trouble. So I think a lot of the differences in the weight gain at this point have to be with which uh, nipple they get on. Some of them definitely seem to have more milk than the others. So. Charlene says, these are real working dogs, aren't they? Not necessarily good as just a pet. So um, I would probably disagree with that assessment, Charlene. So they are excellent working dogs. Um, now I'm assuming you're talking about the puppies. Um, but they are also incredible family dogs. A lot of people have them for family dogs because they're known as gentle giants. And both breeds that we cross for the puppies are gentle giants. Um, and they're incredible with children, incredible with families. The Bernese, which Lacey is a Great Pyrenees, but the Bernese is more of a, of a family dog. So the Great Pyrenees is, is considered the livestock guardian dog, but the Great, um, sorry, the Bernese Mountain Dog is is considered a general farm dog and a um and a family dog they really will bond with people um and definitely have uh you know, will bond with the whole family but definitely tend to have their favorite their favorite person as well um and so no they make excellent excellent pets but that being said i would never recommend one of these dogs for an apartment right these are not apartment type of pets um, these, you know, these animals want to be outside. They, they love, um, they love the cold weather. They love working. Um, so someone was asking about the double dew claws before. Um, this is Lacey's double dew claws. So those, they actually need to be trimmed. Um, they're actually way too long right now. Um, these are trimmed, but those have to be trimmed. I have to find the clippers. Clippers, like like most things around here, my clippers. We don't have a dedicated dog place, and so the things like the clippers and the brushes tend to get moved around depending on where the dogs are, and so we're always losing them. Um, but I got those are way too long. I gotta trim those. No, Penny, these puppies will not turn white like Lacey. Lacey is um, a Great Pyrenees. They are all white. These puppies are a cross between the Great Pyrenees and the Bernese Mountain Dog. And so they will stay, they will stay the brown and white. But they will get fluffy like her. They will be nice and fluffy big dogs. Yes, they are great family pets. And a lot of people have the, the Great Pyrenees as family pets. Um, the Great Pyrenees can make wonderful, wonderful family pets. Even though they're a livestock guardian dog, they don't have to be with, with the farms. But you just have to remember what, you know, they were bred for. Like, you know, if you are in an apartment and there's noises coming and going, be prepared for them to bark at night because that's what they do. They're protecting you. Um, and so, you know, if you have uh, places where you can take them out and you have a large backyard and whatnot, the Great Pyrenees can make great family pets as well, even though they're... They're, they're working dogs. So they, they really cross both of those if you understand what the large breed is, is, uh, is for. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're not really done. So Jair says, um, hi from Kansas and how long is the breed's lifespan? So that is one of the reasons we crossed. So the, the, um, the Bernese Mountain Dogs are not known for longevity, and so that's one of the reasons why we crossed the pier in with the Bernese is because it helps take the wander out of the Pyrenees, so they don't they don't like to roam as much, and it lengthens the life of the Bernese. So, um, plus when you get a a hybrid like this, when you cross two breeds, you get what's called hybrid vigor, which can also expand their lifetime. So, um, you know, like anything, there's there's a huge huge variation. Um, you know, in puppies and how they're raised and, and all of that. But, uh, so I don't, I am hesitant to give a number, but you know, the, the peers will live easily, you know, 10 to 14 years. Bernie's probably more like eight to 12. Um, so you're probably going to get up in that, you know, 12 to 14 easily range, but are you full, Miss Phoebe? Are you full? 
We did not remove the dew claws, Phyllis. Um, all of our dogs have their dew claws, and I, uh, I, I, I wanted to research it more in case, you know, because as a breeder, I need to be responsible and make and make good decisions, um, not just because it's what I personally uh, personally prefer. Um, and so, you know, we we decided to leave them all on. Yeah, Lacey's an excellent mom. Uh, Carol says, which one is that on its side? I am um, this one here. It looks like uh, Chandler would be my guess. Yeah, it's Chandler. Oh, you're welcome, Deborah. You know, so again, like I said, with their with their weight gain, even though you know there's some variation in the weight gain, you know, this is this is not a hungry puppy, <laughs> right? This is a puppy that enjoyed his meal, and is is ready for a good nap, aren't you, Joey? Aren't you, Joey? Eves. Beverly says, how long do they nurse for? Uh, that depends on Lacey. If, if someone opened that door right now, Lacey would stand up and <laughs> the puppies just drop off of her. So, um, you know, different times uh, as far as duration for each feeding and as far as length, uh, they'll be introduced to um, goat milk and raw meat uh, next week when they turn. Um, once their eyes are open, once they're moving around a little bit better. So this time she's lying this way. The next time she'll lie the other way. Um, get those other, the other nipples on the other side a little better. So this is, so this is new. See what she's doing here, licking the face. So when puppies are first born, um, they need their moms to stimulate them to go to the bathroom. And so she mostly spends her time licking their backsides. Once they start to get a little bit older, you'll see moms start to lick their faces more, which definitely seems to have more of a um, maternal, I love you kind of, of instinct and not just licking, licking backside. So that's actually a little early for that kind of behavior. You usually don't see that until a little bit later. Oh, you're welcome, Christy. She said her four-year-old son is enchanted watching the puppies. Uh, their names are Chandler, Phoebe, Joey, Monica, and Rachel, Francesca. How do you make her pudding? Um, pudding is literally cooked vanilla pudding, so don't get instant. Instant will give the puppies diarrhea. So you just get cooked vanilla pudding, and we use goat milk. We add extra egg yolks, and we add um, sometimes extra sugar. She hasn't been getting extra sugar lately. Usually that's just the first few days, make sure she has enough energy. And then um, uh, a pumpkin, in this case we're using sweet potatoes if they have worry about having diarrhea. Kathy says, how often do you breed them? So this is actually Lacey's first litter. Um, so I, I don't really have a plan, um, to be perfectly honest. We bred Cagney first. Cagney did not take. And then um, we kind of put Lacey in, not really thinking to. We kind of figured Castle was still too little. So so basically when the, when the sire is younger, he'll do his job, but he'll do it so excitedly before 
<laughs> they're really in a full standing heat and then um, there's not enough semen to actually get the mom pregnant and so we kind of figured that that Lacey wasn't gonna get bred but apparently he figured it out and uh, come here you <laughs> and so um, so this is Lacey's first litter. So Cagney should be coming. Well, Beckett came into heat, and we uh, tried to breed her as well. So we're she's getting an ultrasound June 2nd. Oh, listen to that noise. Can you do it again? Um, and so Beckett's getting an ultrasound. I think it's June 16th. And then um, Cagney should be coming into heat uh, later in the fall. Um, I'm not really... Uh, you know, a lot of it's going to be, I, I, I don't know if we, a lot of it would be um, how, what good shape they're in. So, um, you know, we're still fairly new breeding dogs. So we, we, we know a lot with goats, but obviously goats and dogs are different. Um, and so um, Lacey, we always have trouble keeping weight on her. So I would not imagine that we would breed her before this next this next heat right because dogs come the big dogs come in every six months so i will i will not plan to breed her the next heat most likely what did you get into um and then see what kind of shape she's in uh the next year um we'll also see what kind of, of demand we have for puppies um which would which would affect it as well um you know beckett on the other hand beckett tends to be chunky tends to be overweight so um, breeding her twice might be better than letting her get get um, get continue to get overweight so it really just depends on the individual dog I mean that's the way we treat our goats so I don't know that we would treat the dogs any different than that um, so oh sorry your hubby's allergic Jill uh, today is, is today day 11 or day 12? I think today's t day 11. Yeah, no, she's doing real well. You know, and that's another thing, like, if Cagney's not a very good mom, I mean, it, it just, it depends on the dog. Um, it depends on the dog. Uh, the Great Pyrenees have been bred for, um, being livestock guardian dogs, so, so they have a genetic... Um, in there and, and Bernice are working dogs so I keep saying that I'm going to teach Castle to pull a cart but number one I don't have a cart and number two I don't have time to teach him. Shannon says how do I inquire about a Beckett puppy? Um, you can just send me an email or a message. Um, we've not I've not started taking deposits for her um, puppies because I don't know that she's pregnant. Um, she's in great shape but if anything she's a little heavy. Um, you know it's so it's so hard to tell when they're um, because she's still, you know, she's only, she's not quite a year and a half. She's almost a year and a half. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so I don't know if she's going to take or not. Um, our goats are from milk, Dara. They're dairy goats, not meat goats. See them up on his feet? You see that? So that's new. Uh, oh, and we poop. You're gonna eat it. I was gonna clean it up, but we can just eat. We can just eat the poop. Yeah, that's gross. That's gross. Ah, uh, she did great, Beth. I did not. I've not supplemented anybody with um with goat milk. Everybody's gaining real well. I'd I'd rather not have to. It's not something that I have any, you know, especially with the litter of five. See? <laughs> like I said, the minute someone comes in, that's what she does. She just leaves them hanging. You guys ready to go back in? This floor is not the easiest for them. What do you think, Rachel? Do you know where the dog, um, the nail clippers for her is? Her duplas need to be done. No. All right, if you think to ask Ashley and get them up here, they're getting real long. That's it. Right now. This is the one that takes forever. Right down. Right down.
I know, she's like, I really didn't want to. Every single time. I really didn't want to. She's such a good girl. Uh, Francesca says, how do you tell them apart? Um, by their white on the back of their neck. So this one's Chandler, this one's Rachel, this one's Monica, that's Joey, and that's Phoebe. You can say, I don't know when she's last gone. And it's almost, it's 514, so. Yeah, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be her back in. Okay, well, I can't right now. Did he deny you going out? I know you wanted to go out. I'll take you out later. So you put them back, or you're not going to come back and feed them anymore, are you? Are you going to feed them anymore? Or are you done? I have a feeling you're done. <laughs> you want to go say hi to me? That's such a good girl. Yes, you are. You're a good mama. You're a good mama. Yes, you are. You're a good mama. Um, Francesca, if you go to the uh, website at gmsdogs.com up in the menu bar, there's a tag um, that says getting a puppy. You can go ahead on that page and you can read all the information about it. It includes the pricing and, and everything in there. These are across Diana between the Great Bernie, I'm sorry, between the Great Pyrenees and the Bernese Mountain Dog and the puppies are commonly referred to as um, Great Bernese. You guys, should we go back in? Should we put him back in? Let him take a nap. Regina says, "What do you say? The other reason she was licking them besides cleaning them? So they start when they're when they're little. Mom has to lick them to stimulate them to go to the bathroom, and so they start, and that's pretty much all it is. It's a very utilitarian licking, cleaning, that sort of thing. But um, usually, when their eyes are open and they start." Uh, moving around on their own, you'll start to see mom start to lick their faces, which seems to have much more of a bonding um, type of uh, reason behind it. Ugh, come here, Chucky. Come here, baby. So, Probably they were thinking about getting that weaning box up in here today, but I think they want to put a couple more coats of polyurethane on it. So they're probably going to not, not put that in until tomorrow. They're worried about they don't want to get it all full of lacy hair. All right, you finished your pudding. Do you want any more? Are you still hungry at all? You ate a lot. You ate more than I thought you would. All right, well, these guys are all going to take a nap now. They are quite content. They're happy puppies. Happy puppies. These sheets, just so you know, these are our, um, our uh, goat sheets, so a lot of that is just stained. <laughs> it's not as dirty as it looks. Good night, puppies. All right, I'm gonna head off. You guys all have a super good evening and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.